Sarah Ferguson has revealed that she believes she has received signs from the late Queen Elizabeth and her mother from beyond the grave on her podcast. The 63-year-old Duchess of York explained that she believes that those who have died will show that they are still present by sending a gust of wind or a feather. Fergie was married to Prince Andrew until 1996 but the pair still live together in Royal Lodge on the Windsor estate. Even after their divorce, her mother-in-law, who she previously as more of a mother than her own, was there for her until the very end. The Duchess lost her mother, Susan Barantes, when she died aged 61 in a tragic accident. Her car collided head-on with a van in Argentina in 1998. The grandmother of four has now said that signs from beyond the grave help feed her soul, adding that she thinks it is a beautiful belief. Charles isn't kicking Andrew out of Royal Lodge to avoid looking vindictive The revelations came to light during a discussion about beliefs on the latest episode of Fergie and her co-host Sarah Thompson's podcast, Tea Talks with the Duchess and Sarah, released on Thursday. Fergie said, A lot of people say well, if your mother-in-law wants to show that she's around you or your mother or anyone who's passed, they'll send a feather. So I found a feather and it's got a little green tint to it and I think to myself I wonder, do I believe that? And do you know, the answer is I'm happy to believe it today. I'm happy to believe this moment so that's kind of a beautiful belief. I lost mum. And I do believe in the sudden breeze when there's no breeze or the butterfly which appears when there's no hope of a butterfly on that particular bush and in comes a butterfly. All these little signs are my belief and that's what feeds my soul to get me where I am on a daily way. When she appeared on ITV's Loose Women earlier this year, the Duchess spoke candidly about how she missed Britain's longest-serving monarch, describing her as an incredible mother-in-law and friend. She added, her door always remained open to me and we saw a lot of each other right up to the end, for which I will always be grateful. I miss her more than words can express. The late Queen died peacefully almost a year ago at her Scottish estate in Balmoral on September 8 after 70 years on the throne. Fergie and her 63-year-old ex-husband took in the late monarch's corgis, Sandy and Mick, after her death. Don't miss. Fergie on poignant advice from Queen that she still recalled every morning, insight, royals fear Prince Andrew faces more bombs over Jeffrey Epstein friendship, report, Sarah Ferguson and baby Sienna throw fairy birthday for Beatrice, latest, the Duchess has spoken candidly about her relationship with her mother, who eloped with polo player Hector Barantes in South America when she was just 12 years old. Speaking on Loose Women earlier this year, she told of how she struggled after being abandoned which kick-started her mental health issues. She said, I think it started when Mum went to live in Argentina and it was 1970 or something and I was 12. So I must be worthless for my mum to leave and of course I must be, so that's when I started eating. And I had an eating disorder then and I pushed on the pounds. Fergie lost her mother in the horrific accident just a year after she buried her former sister-in-law and friend, Princess Diana, 